Cervical Lymph Node Examination The lymphatic system is a network of delicate tubes throughout the body which protects us from infection and keeps a healthy balance of fluids. Swollen lymph nodes usually occur as a result of infection from bacteria or viruses and rarely can be caused by cancer. Normal lymph nodes are smooth, small, tiny, pea-sized lumps. The most common causes of swollen cervical lymph nodes include respiratory infections such as bronchitis, the common cold, ear infections, scalp infections, strep throat, tonsillitis, and ear, nose and throat or mouth or dental problems. Palpation of the lymph nodes provides us information about the possible presence of any malignant or inflammatory processes that are taking place and the localization or generalization of that process. Step 1. Position the patient sitting upright and examine from behind if possible. Ask the patient to tilt the head slightly downwards as it can help relax the muscles in the neck. Step 2. Inspect for any evidence or irregularity of the neck. Step 3. Stand behind the patient and use both hands to palpate the neck. Step 4. Use the pads of the second, third and fourth fingers and press and roll the lymph nodes over the surrounding tissue to assess for any various characteristics or abnormalities. Step 5. Start at the submental area and progress through the various lymph node chains by moving posteriorly. Working your way up to the submandibular and the parotid areas. Move into the preauricular and postauricular regions. Moving to the occipital region. Then the anterior cervical region. Moving to the deep cervical region. Working your way to the subclavicular region. From there, we go to the posterior cervical region. You are assessing for the site, the size, the shape, consistency, tenderness, mobility and any overlying skin changes. Interpretation of findings. Benign lymph nodes are typically less than one centimetre. They're smooth, rounded, non-tender and mobile. Reactive lymph nodes. They're typically smooth, can be swollen, rounded, tender, mobile and associated with infected symptoms. Subscribe to the channel for more.